Heart to Heart, Remington Steele, and Castle. That's right. These two have become TV's hottest crime-solving couple. From this Sunday night's morning show, Mysteries, Death by Design, premiering at 9, 8 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries. Welcome back, our very good friends, Holly Robinson, Pete, and Rick Fox. We are so excited. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. So good to yes. see you. Right. It's always a good time when yes. Rick and Holly stop by. Yeah, yeah it is. Right. Yeah, it is. True story. <laughs> now, Death by Design, and also someone's probably going to die. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, in the mystery, still a good time though for us. So Death by Design is is really good. I mean, it, it, I sort of felt it was a bit Hitchcockian, if you will. It's twists and turns. It involves yep. identical twins, and you really have no idea what is happening until the very end. You really don't. And even when I read the script, I'll call Rick and go, "Okay, we're in Act One. Do you do you know who are you <laughs> thinking?" Um, and there there are a lot of twists and turns, especially with the twin storyline. And one of them um, is my best friend. And, and she comes to the set of Wake Up West Coast, which is a Billy Blessings show, and she essentially is going to redecorate it, redesign it, but her twin gets killed. Oh and so we have to figure out who it is. And whenever you have twins in a murder mystery, you yeah. know you're going to go down some crazy roads. Ruh -ruh. It's true. Lots of twists and turns. Yeah. And it sort of it led twin? me to wonder a little bit, you know, no. like, Everybody thinks they look like a famous person out there. Oh, that's so true. Isn't that that's the truth? So I mean, there's yeah. apps about it and everything you look else. Just like my friends. So, right. I mean, my mom says, you know, I, I can't Always. all the time. So I'm wondering, in your own experience, has uh, people come up to you, with both of you, and said, "Oh yeah." People tell me you? I look just like and you. And I'm your twin. Thing, it's the strangest thing for me because I'm not the I'm not the average height person, right? I'm <laughs> six six, and a bit tall. so I get a lot of uh, comparisons to other celebrities. Though sometimes uh, I'll get the Shamar Moore, I'll get the Tony Gonzalez. Well, famous these are all very players. good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I've gotten the Rock maybe because I'm tall and, and oh, no, maybe I see the Rock Sons a little bit. And, uh, the rock. You know, look, um, yeah. So I get those three a lot and. I don't know. Who do you get? Do you, you feel like get... you look like them? Because I sort of do. I see it now. I, I, I maybe. Nobody looks no, like I... Rick Fox. <laughs> <laughs> Only Rick looks like Rick. No. Um, I get one. Okay, okay, so my very, very best friend, ironically, is Terry Ellis from the group En Vogue. Okay, we met when we did the theme song for Hang With Mr. Cooper. Uh, years and years ago, we became best, best friends. We've been in love ever since. And look at us. Do we That's not look crazy. alike? That yeah. photo in particular really is out of yeah. control. Rick took us on a date. In Vancouver once. Me Together? And Terry, we to yes. Concert. We're we, went to, we went to Beyonce. That's right. And Jay -Z. Oh, really? Yeah, and Jay-Z. And yeah. we had the best time and Rick was our date. And um, uh, and people like will see would see us there and be like, hey, you look like wait, hold on, there, there you are. Yeah. So sometimes we, you know, we, we joke around like I, you know, show up at one of her concerts and yeah. let me sing and and have her show up to and have her come to morning yeah, show morning mystery, mystery. play opposite Rick. <laughs> how would you do up there? Um, Singing. Oh, you would kill it. Oh, yeah. I would kill oh, it. Yeah. yeah. Would kill it. You know, back in another lifetime, I was a, <laughs> exactly. I had a Rick and yeah. Yeah. Uh, exactly. We, we got to get back to uh, death by design yeah, here. Yeah. Um, we got a great clip. A uh, clip where. In this particular case, it's rare, but Ian is actually asking for Billy's help. Very I'm rare. The case, I'm so is, glad the cameras were rolling. There you go. There you go. Let's take so a first, look. first people. Well, looks like I'm going to be eating my welcome home meatloaf all by myself. Oh, hey, Ian. Please tell me you're unrain checking me for tonight because Marion just canceled on me. No, that's not why I... Actually, I wanted to ask you for a favor. Oh. I went to see Riley today, unofficially, and something she said in our talk bothered me. Wait a minute. Are you asking me to help you? No, this is me asking you to check in on a friend. Mm. I know Riley looks up to you, and I thought if you reached out... She'd be more willing to talk. Exactly. Hmm. Well, it just so happens that I have the perfect cover. That just opened up a can of worms. I'm telling you right now. Just let Billy help you. <laughs> She's gonna want a badge. Just get the badge, you. Just get the badge already. Can just you go to the police Billy. academy? Billy. Everybody thinks you should get the badge. Just go to the police academy. I don't need no stinking no, badge. No, you don't need a badge. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you're doing it anyway. But let I me say this that. also. Just watching the two of you oh, work on screen, you can tell that you've known each other for a while. You maybe even worked together before, which we know you have, because the chemistry between you guys, it's just fantastic. So great. It really is. I love watching you guys yeah. in all sorts Thank of you scenes. for saying that. Um, yeah, we go way back, and we've been friends for a long time, so this is just a yeah. 
Yeah, perfect it's, storm. It's great, and we feel that for sure. In in, in the, uh, the series of movies, all the time, people are are lying to you about alibis, uh, about yeah. Yeah. It's about all sorts Lies. of things. I didn't right? do it. I mean, that's I what didn't happens. Do it. That's what keeps us all on our toes. <laughs> but I'm wondering, in real life, how good are you guys at kind of smelling the lies? In particular, oh. maybe like from your kids. You know, I have a son. Y'all know R.J. Yeah. He has. He's on the autism spectrum, but. He's incapable of lying, which is so beautiful. That's a beautiful thing. Sometimes. <laughs> I'm just saying. Wait, okay. what's happening? Because you, mean by you that? don't want to give too much truth, because he'll just oh. sort of say everything. The like brutal honesty. Like, yeah, uh, like he'll just tell it like it is. Like, and so it's just, you just have to be very careful and sort of rein in the truth. And sometimes RJ will just say things, um, and he'll just not, it, it, it'll be too much truth. Well, we're going to find out if the two of you can lie. Right now, we're going to play a little yep. game. We're going to revive uh -uh. a little game that we used to play around here called Two Truths and a Lie. So this is how it's going to go. Holly, yes. you are going to say three statements to Rick. Two Just, of them are real, so say all and one three. of them is wrong. Okay. Okay. And he will have to figure out which one is the truth <laughs> and vice versa, and then Rick will do the same to you. So we'll see if you can tell who's lying here. All right. Okay. Ready? Okay. okay. So go ahead. Me, I should start? start. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're lying already. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so back in the day, I dated Johnny Depp while I was on 21 Jump Street. Now, even though, and I went against my mom's advice, who said, do not date anyone you work with. All right. But I okay. dated him back in the day. I can see that. That's one. Okay. okay. Next. Number two, that. I sang the national anthem at Dodger Stadium eight times. Eight times. Mm -hmm. You or Terry? Okay. Me, honey. Right. <laughs> Terry was unavailable. Oh, see, you gave that one away. <laughs> I, okay, and number three, you'll like this one. Okay. I once caught a pass from NFL Hall of Fame quarterback Brett Favre, but I suffered a career-ending injury while I caught that pass. Oh, career-ending injury. Ooh, these are also these are good. Yeah, those are very good. Uh, well, the one where you performed at LA Dodger games, sung the national anthem eight times, I know that to be a fact. Okay. I've seen it, oh, and okay. it's amazing. Oh, that's okay. impressive, Yes, Molly. and yeah. you, I guarantee you'll have double digits pretty soon. <laughs> that's uh, awesome. uh, the Johnny Depp uh, dating may have not been public, hmm. but... It was before Instagram. But it was before Instagram. <laughs> right. Um, so I can, uh, that's believable. I mean, that's believable. believable. But I'm now thinking that, knowing how much you love football, right. the opportunity to catch a pass from Brett Favre, I don't think, is it Favre? Favre. 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 Sorry, Brett. Uh, <laughs> would, be, uh, would be something you would not pass up of. And knowing how you tackled Michael Strahan the other day, mm -hmm. I could see you going and laying out for one and mm -hmm. maybe injuring. All right, get to it. Okay. Which one's I, 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 Thank you. I think that's the Johnny Depp one. I think the detective. I think the Johnny Depp one is a lie. Dang. Is it? Right. Ah, there you go. Go. Not gonna see you dating Johnny. Johnny so would have been too lucky couple. to have that. My happen. mom was right. You don't date. You don't date. Who you don't date. Her. But tomorrow. she married an actor. Your mom. Huh? Well, kinda. Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. Oh, all right. Well, I, have, I have my card here. Okay. All right. So uh, again. Hold on, I gotta look at his tail. Yeah. I gotta all look right. at his eyes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you sweat Game a of little Thrones. Bit, Rick. This is Game of Thrones time. I'm sweating a little bit. Okay. I'm getting the way ready. Oh yeah. Game of Thrones. The audition for Carl Drago. I was down to the wire of being one of the individuals to huh. be called Drago. That's interesting, First and one. I could see that First too. One. Okay. Um, second one, I was asked to coach our beloved Los Angeles Lakers. Good one too. Our third one was I was asked to run for office in the Bahamas. Okay. Where are you from? Okay. All right. well, let's start with that one. That one, I believe, yep. were definitely asked to run for office because he is a king down there. Right, exactly. Okay. Um, the Drago <laughs> thing, I'm going to say yes. Why not? Why not? Why not? You'd be good. Okay. So the lie is the Lakers job. Well, doesn't that, that seems that pretty seems real, be, too. That seems the most natural. It would be the, the easiest one to think, but it was actually the Knicks. <gasps> and it wasn't the Lakers. Oh, oh so you were right. You were right. right. You were right. right. Hey, yeah. That, <laughs> that, was, that, was, that really was such a small yeah. just detail. Just a, well, yeah. you would think, you know, you would think. I am impressed but no. with both of you. All wow. I can say is you guys are the best liars. We know each I've other. Yeah. No, I don't know each other. I don't know if it's a good thing, but you're a bunch of liars. <laughs> <laughs> You all do not miss this Sunday night's world premiere of Morning Show Mysteries, Death by Design at 9, 8 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.